The role of FSU as an HBCU has to be conjoined with what we also now recognize will be our role in the 21st century. So we kind of have a mantra that we use. We like to say FSU is an institution that has a great historical foundation that primarily was African American. However, we recognize that in order to be a competitive, diverse, global institution, we have to change how we look, how we market ourselves, how we brand ourselves. So first of all, I want, I want to make this point that those two have to go together. Your, your legacy as an HBCU cannot stand alone anymore. And sometimes you hear people say it. For example, I have alums who say to me, Chancellor, you know, we're moving away from FSU being historically black, meaning we don't have 98% of our students being black anymore. We don't have 90 plus percent of our folks who work here being black anymore. Our alumni and most of our folks who work here recognize the kind of environment that we are working in now it has to account for inclusion, has to account for diversity, has to account for globalism. And in doing so, we'll make sure that we really sustain that historical brand and move into other things. Being an HBCU also means that we've chosen to admit and produce successes among non-traditional populations who are diverse by race, who are diverse by age. Of the 17 UNC campuses, we have the older average population, around 25. We admit more transfers than anybody else. Over 50% of our students are transfers. We admit more military. Over 20% of our students are military. So as we account for those different populations, we see that forcing us to make decisions about what we do, about what courses we offer, about what internships we need to go after to help this diverse range of students. But all of that now becomes part and parcel of the new definition of an HBCU. We also recognize that there's a relationship clearly between education and your future income and your future employment. So as an HBCU, we have to think about the definition that we have had historically but how that has to translate into empowering people who come here to have the income and to have the employability that they need to have for the future. So, so the definition changes, but it's still based on what your historical roots are.